Hi, now we have seen there are different release or advancements that are happening by the 3GPP for different technologies. In LTE, we have seen from release 8 up till release 14, there are different advancements that have happened. Now we have divided these three parts, LTE, LTE Advanced and LTE Advanced Pro here, which is also termed as 4.5G on the basis of three things. One, is there any evolution in the architecture? in these three different advancements or phases? Is there any advancements in term of a radio access network? Or what are the advancements that are happening in terms of the new features that are embedded in these new phases? Now, the release eight, we have seen it is the basic LTE release, which was delivered by 3GPP. And it has the change in the architecture if we compare with the, the previous or the legacy technologies. LTE is more flat architecture. We, we have lesser number of nodes as compared to the legacy technologies for that matter. Now, when we compare LTE with LTE Advanced, the architecture remains same. When we go towards the LTE Advanced Pro, now this particular stage is more taking or enabling the steps or the path towards 5G. Now, here in this release 13 and 14 we have seen the virtualization and the cloudification was enabled on the different nodes we'll talk about these different terms in detail in the subsequent slides but just to distinguish that how lte lte advanced and lte advanced pro are different from each other this will give us just a brief idea about it in terms of radio advancements we had certain basic features which was there in lte which is release 8 after that, we have some advanced antenna techniques which were evolved in LTE Advanced to get a better throughput and better peak data rates in that case. Now, after that, in case of Advanced Pro, we got the better modulation schemes to increase the efficiency, spectral efficiency in that case, to enable uh, NBIT. And all these different features have new use cases emerged in the market. After that, in terms of feature, LTE, by default, it's all IP based ecosystem. We understand the data rates right from the basic LTE or release eight, it was 100 Mbps we could achieve without any advanced antenna techniques in a 20 megahertz of a bandwidth. We'll talk about these calculations later on. But here, what we are doing is we are adding up new carriers to increase the throughput. We are adding up the the new functionality such as vehicle to everything or private LTE to add more value in 4G ecosystem.